Oh, it doesn't work. Uh, that's a code we're going to develop now. Okay, so in this configure, so if you go to the startup, there's a section called configure service. There we're going to add one more service that now already we have add MVC. Then now we're going to add a new service called token services dot token validation parameter. actually add token authentication first and then we need to add a, a token validation for parameters add authentication that will have the that's uh, that will th there we will add um, um, new token parameters value so here I'm adding new add authentication uh, before we add this, there's one more step I forgot to use. Um, so we should say app dot use authentication. We are saying we need to use authentication hereafter. Okay, that's the one step. And then here we're gonna say add authentication. What kind of authentication we're going to use? Uh, here we're gonna use JWT bearer um, uh, default token. Intelligence doesn't show all those stuff. Bearer default, I think is correct. Let's see. Yep, yeah, that's right. Bearer default, so we're going to use um, authentication schema. And add here uh, there's one thing we need to notice um, there are many different authentication we have um, so our main goal is anything we do in this uh, in this area is so all related to JWT so here we're gonna so, so there may be uh, Google authentic other authentication it might be working on or OAuth is other authentication working on so we're gonna use JWT to bearer where we have the option of adding so what we need here open brace it says some of the some options we can add so I'm going to add some few options and all right okay so now we have the main uh, board star, uh, main uh, place where the authentication should work so when the user uh, send the token so this is where it validate whether the token is valid or not so here we can tell uh, here here we can specify um, same secret key which we used in the auth controller here and also we're going to use one more uh, says that what kind of things to validate i'm going to say that validate signature key yes Validate Sorry Options Dot So 
how we created that uh, token the same way we're going to create a bunch of properties here says that here if you go here we created a issuer audience claims sign in credentials so here we're going to tell that please validate that uh, issuer validate issuer yes true so we can say yes i want to validate issuer validate validate uh, audience yes validate audience equal to true and then we say validate sign in key issuer validate uh, issuer sign in key yes I want to validate the two and um, so valid valid uh, so also we can specify what is a valid issuer So here I can say the same name where we put there that my site.com. So this will make sure this is the site. This is the valid issuer and this is valid audience. Equal to my site.com. Okay, and then we can specify what is the signature key we're gonna use. Issuer sign in key. So this is the same key which we'll be using in the other place. The same key we're gonna use it here too. So you can copy paste the same key. Uh, keep in mind that this key you should be um, this key you should be using um, what do you call um, in you should get it from the you should get it from the um, configuration. Okay. So I'm gonna copy paste here. So now we have the key. This sh both key should be same uh, to work correctly. So right now, as I mentioned before, we're using the secret key, which will be in configuration. But in the next tutorial, possibly, or you can even give a try with uh, pri private public key uh, to verify. So imagine you have. Um, um, applicate you have a company where uh, only one team or one project will have the token provider and then that will be this auth controller and the other projects who are using this token they can have this bunch of uh, section of code so the token provider always provide the token and then whoever using that token uh, authenticates they don't need to worry about all the authentication for it. they just need to add this code and then uh, the remaining will be taken care of by the auth controller uh, the that that's a different api it's a when you de develop the single sign on uh, those kind of application is much easier to develop um so, uh, so you can give that uh, token this url to the other user uh, to verify the token um, generate the token and then they can verify in their code the token is valid or not Okay, I think is we're almost done. I'm not. Sh uh, let's give a try to make sure it's working. All right, just go back here. This is generating token. Uh, let's go back to our. So we send this token now now we got that 40 unauthorized um, thinking this could be because our token got expired so I'm gonna copy this new to let's generate the new token copy this maybe some other issue let's give a try with this token first and see it's working so it's working so now authentication start working so what uh, what if I change something like this we're sending some token so it won't well so because 401 is unauthorized so now the token authentication is ready it's working perfectly well um, so we created the authentic token and then we verifying the token here using bearer token um, so one more last step before I think we are done with this tutorial um, um, one more thing before I go ahead and stop this um, for the next video or uh, to know how uh, here this is the section you can say um, I want to use <coughs> private public key uh, cert certificate for the token authentication. You can say issuer 
sign in key and then you can say new x see this is what we need to use All right this is that uh, 509 security key that, that's where we're gonna pass the um, certificate to create authentication all right uh, thanks for watching um, i'll be keep posting a few other videos related to token authentication or the other video probably i'm thinking uh, we will take this project and create this as a separate project authentication will be running separate project and then uh, whoever consumer of the token will be having a separate project and we'll test it out how it's going to work out okay um, thanks for watching and uh, please send me any comments or any improvement i should ha take or any other videos um, needed